Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, nice to be with you today. It's Holy Week, and it has been a powerful, powerful week. I hope you've been reading your Bible and looking at the passion of the Christ as he goes through this week. One of the marks of this week, you can see it very clearly as you read through the different days, uh, is Jesus in prayer. Jesus in prayer, Jesus in prayer, Jesus fellowshipping with his, his disciples and in prayer, fellowship and prayer, fellowship and prayer. Doing a little bit of teaching, but a lot of it is, is spending time with the Father and, and reconnecting. And we get to uh, the next, uh, tomorrow, um, where he's in the garden and he is praying through uh, the whole thing. And I don't know if you've, you've done this before. I, maybe, I bet you have. I bet you've done this. Uh, you're going along life, life's happening just fine, and then a crisis hits and something just smacks you right there and you start praying. <clears throat> you know, here's Jesus. He's going along in life and all of a sudden it's the week that are going to put him on the cross and you see him praying, praying, praying. And I know we're like that, we're like, oh no. And sometimes, you know, somebody will ask you, well, have you prayed yet? You know, or, or, or we've got to pray. And uh, the response is usually, really, has it come to that? It's, it's, it's that bad that we have to stop and pray. And if you put that in the context of Jesus, you're going to get it wrong because uh, the, the, the week of passion for Jesus was not, oh no, now it's time for you to pray, even though we see him praying throughout that week. You go all the way back to the very beginning, the very first chapter in Mark, uh, one of the early verses, it says, and Jesus got away to a lonely place to pray. And it says this in the other gospels as well, in the first part, except I think in John, but the other gospels all saying that Jesus went away to pray, went away to pray, went away to pray. And then throughout the entire uh, historical account of Jesus, he went away to pray, got, him, got alone to pray. Got alone. And it's, it's his deal. So here's my point. Don't wait for the crisis. Start now. Start today. Take, take two minutes. Take three minutes. Just say, you know what? I don't know how long, but I'm going to just take a few minutes and talk to God. Maybe take, take you know, half the time to talk to God. So if you're going to pray for two minutes, first minute, pray. Set your timer. All right, pray. And then the second half, just shut up. Just keep your mouth shut and listen. God, do you have anything to say to me? And in two minutes, you go, oh, okay, I'm done. Pastor said I only take two minutes. Done. But what will happen, it will begin to start a rhythm in your life, a pattern in your life that Jesus started in his life when he started his, his ministry, and it went all the way through. And he took more than two minutes. But don't let that uh, put any guilt or condemnation on you or something. Oh, Jesus did it. No, just take two minutes. Pray. And when the crisis hits, you'll already know how to talk to God. That was the beauty of Christ in the garden. We'll see this in a couple of days. There in the garden, he knew already what to say, how to talk to the Father, and how to hear his voice, and how to allow the presence of the Spirit of God minister to him. So, Father, thank you. I pray, Lord, that we would get in contact with you, hear your voice. Lord, listen to your heart. God, not just when the crisis hits, but God, throughout our life. And Lord, we know that crisis will hit. But God, I want to know that you're there. And not just turn to you when I need you, but know that you're there with me through the ups and downs of life. And I pray for my friends who may be going through crisis this week. God, this is a passion week for them. And Lord, let the reminder of the resurrection, the power of Easter, God, give them hope today. Build them up and strengthen them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for praying with me, being a part of my life. I look forward to seeing you this Easter. Don't miss it. It's going to be a great day.